Hey, what's going on everyone? Just wanted to let you know that I am making copper bangles. Now, in this video, I'm just showing you how to make one simple copper bangle, okay? So, what I've done so far, this is a copper bangle. This is very easy to make. I charge $5.00. Per bangle um, and soon the price is going to be up just because um, the brass now for my copper bangles copper is a little cheaper than brass for my copper bangles they're always going to be five dollars per bangle but for these brass bangles the prices on my um brass wire that I buy um the prices are going up so I have to bring my prices up so they're no longer going to be five dollars for right now they are five dollars each okay so so they're going to go up one dollar possibly two dollars um because the prices are fluctuating right now one minute is, is one price and next minute is another price so it really depends on what the prices stay at and i'm thinking about um 
just buying a whole bunch so I could just so just buying a whole bunch of brass wire so I can just have it one hand and keep my prices low because I know y'all like the low low. Look, I love the low low. Okay. So what you do is you get you a nice file. This is my file that I use. And what I do is I file first, I sand, and then I polish. So you file, file the, um, the bangle first, then you take the sandpaper. Um, the sandpaper has to be, look y'all, I don't know the name, I don't know the names of it, or the grits. Let me see, what grid is this? I'm trying to see. This came in the pack. 180. So this is 180. This came in the pack. I got it from Walmart. I usually get my sandpaper from Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree wasn't open at that um at the time of day when I got that, so got me some from Walmart. Walmart is a little more expensive. Not a little more expensive. It is more expensive. But okay. when you need paper, um, when you need stuff, when you need your sandpaper on that particular day or night. It was at night, y'all. Um, you're gonna pick whatever is nearby. Some people use steel wool. I don't do steel wool. I use brass to polish. So what I do is I just take this. Let me see if I can show y'all good. It's a little blurry. And I am on my phone once again doing videos. I hate using the phone for videos. But it's very convenient. It really is. <clears throat> Today is Tuesday. Sunday I was supposed to make a video. I did not. Um, I just felt like resting. Just wanted to rest. And the rest of the day that I did not rest, I did laundry. And then yesterday... What was I doing yesterday? I don't know what I was doing yesterday. What was I doing yesterday? Homeschooling my children, of course. Homeschooling. Um, Y'all, I am a photographer. I might start doing videos of my photography. Y'all, I think I'm going I'm I'm to go ahead. I'm, a, I have, I'm just so proud of myself. So my son told me... So let me start off by saying this. We took... We had a little photo shoot took pictures in his fancy clothes fancy garments and the pictures came out nice my children and I my husband didn't want to take pictures he is not the picture person okay he don't like taking pictures he's always been like that but anyway so we all took pictures and I'm just editing and editing away. Um, Monday morning, it was like, <laughs> you know, I was editing the, the uh, not videos, I was editing the pictures. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm just going around this side right here, the sides of it, make sure it's nice and straight and leveled. You don't want anything to be poking and to scratch you yeah, yeah. same thing with this side now after you file it is going to be sharp okay the bracelet will be sharp that's why you sand it and then you polish it with your choice of metal always polish metal with metal Whew. 
too. And let me tell you, so I have carpal tunnel and it takes a toll on my hands. It really does. Sometimes I like to just use the pliers to hold it. I can't find my pliers. Oh, well, I might be able to use these, but I can't find my pliers that um have a good grip, but it's smooth and it won't mess up. I mean, these these are smooth, but they don't. It's not a good grip. Yeah, you know, like if I do this, I don't know if it's gonna hold it. Yeah, it's not gonna hold it. I'm gonna get me. I'm gonna invest in a third arm. Third arm. It is a little device. <clears throat> it has it's a metal device. It has like, it looks like pliers. So it's, it's, it kind of looks like a tree, right? It's a metal tree that has little hands. It's pliers and it holds your project for you. That way, let's say it has the little pliers holding right here. And you can hold up here and file or solder. I'm going to start getting to soldering. I've been wanting to do that for some years now. I don't know how many years I've been wanting to solder, but it's been a long time. Over six years, possibly. No, maybe eight years now I've been wanting to solder. But anyways, like I was saying, the photography, I really have to do some videos on that just to display it. It is so beautiful. I'm going to put it on my Instagram page, too. My photography Instagram page. But my son asked me. He has a horn. It's called a shofar, right? It's a little trumpet. Made out of a ram's horn. And in the picture, he's blowing it. And he asked me to make it look like he was blowing gold dust. I did some really, really cool stuff in Photoshop, y'all. All right, baby. I'm coming. Can you get them for me, please? Okay. Of course. Okay. My little girls be helping me out so much with the baby, with cooking, with their little toddler brothers, with their big brothers. <laughs> they be helping me out so much. Sometimes, little, sometimes the big brothers be trying to act like the little brothers. They be trying to act like they don't know what to do. They be trying to act like they don't know they're supposed to be doing certain things. Like their chores and... Sometimes they have to have a little sisters to come tell them, hey, you're going to get in trouble. You know you're supposed to be doing such and such. All right, so this is the completed bangle, right? I'm not going to sand it down yet. So what I like to do is um, file it first. It has been completely filed. Uh, let me fix this. It looks very blurry. One moment, y'all. Okay, it's a lot better now. So, this is my arm. I call it my wooden arm. But this is a bracelet mandrel. And I use it to make circles. I use it to make my bracelets. Alright, so this is to complete it bangle i just need to do two more steps um well no three more steps i need to hammer it onto the man, man mandrel then sand it with some sandpaper and then polish it with my brass my brass wire but i don't y'all i've been moving stuff around in this place so much i have so much stuff in here I don't know what I did with my brass wire. But it's um, a copper scrubber. You can get it in the cleaning section at Walmart. At 
Dollar Tree. Um, I think Lowe's and Home Depot sell it too. But yeah, you know, just regular copper scrubbers, dollar stores will have it. Anywho, so, um, yes, completed. Bangle. So I'm just going to shape it and hammer it for some stability. So, that's what I like to do, right? I take it, squeeze it, make it very small so that it can shape around the mandrel nicely, right? So, it's going to look like this. Open it up a little bit. And you take the ends and you bring it all around. Curve it a little bit. And then this one, break it down some. Just curve it up. Give it a little curve. Okay, so now I have the ends curved and curled or whatever you call it. Let's bring this down really, really small. So real small. See, my hand looks so big. Then you put it on the mandrel. Then you bring it down to your wrist size. Whatever size you want it to be. If you want to fit it on your arm, you bring it all the way down to here, to the bottom. If you rather have it on your wrist like a cuff, let's leave it up here. So I want it on my wrist like a cuff. I want it to cuff my wrist, so let me close it back up nice and tightly. So it's like a little bangle cuff, like, okay? So it's on there, and you just shape it. I like to start from the back. So this here, I hold with my palm. I put it in my palm, and I just hammer this for some stability. So what it does is it, op it opens up, like, the back. It opens up some because you're hammering, right? So that's when you come back, you take it off of there, come back and bring it down some more just so that you can get a nice curve. So we'll open it up, we got a little bigger. We'll take it. And this looks almost perfect, almost, right? Just bring it down some more.
All right, and there we go. So the next thing is standing, All right? So I like to use just a small little bit, fold it in half just to get some stability. And just sand. Even leave it on here to sand. piece that looks a little weird so yeah this is the cutest little file <laughs> file is adorable so you just go around the edges uh, uh. huh I said, you. thank you Thank you for the mail, son. Leave it downstairs. You didn't have to run up the steps. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. And just go around. Let me see if I can. The key thing is to make sure nothing is sharp. Put the bag on and it won't be cutting anyone, scratching anyone. Because these edges can be very sharp. I've definitely experienced that. And if you don't know, um, brass is made of copper and zinc. And it has more copper than zinc in it. And it's a very beneficial metal for your body. Copper is better. See that right there. Copper is better because it's, you know, it's 100%. It has better properties for healing. Um, carpal tunnel, I have carpal tunnel. And arthritis. I've not been diagnosed with um, that, um, arthritis. But I think I might have arthritis too. I don't know. I might. I'm an old woman, y'all. 
I'm old. <laughs> I'm only 37. I feel old. Okay. So, unfortunately, I cannot find my wire. You know what? I can always pause the video, right? I'm going to pause the video. Let me see if I can come back with my wire. Okay. I searched high and low and I found it. This is what I was talking about. So I use this to shine and polish my copper jewelry and my brass, my brass jewelry. So all you do, very simple. I don't know if I can show you. So it's kind of difficult. You can see that this is the little doll. Like this wire shines it up nice. I do have a brass brush that I usually use, but stuff just go messing up in my house, y'all. These children be throwing my stuff away. I'm convinced. It's my fault, though. I should be leaving stuff out. I leave my stuff out a lot. And it's shining. I just go around, go around the rest. Is up nice and done. And that's how you make a brass bangle. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Um, Y'all, please help me make it to a thousand. I want to make it to a thousand. Right now, I'm at a hundred and something, y'all. 133, I believe. Please um, share in all your, in all your um, Facebook pages. <laughs> everywhere share it to twitter share it to instagram um y'all help a sister out help me out help me make it to a thousand subscribers on this and then from a thousand hey i want to just go on right on up all right so this is how you make a brass bangle. Y'all see that shine? Nice, right? So check me out, Handcrafted by Nava. $5 per bangle. Y'all know I gotta promote my website. I'm an artist. I'm a jewelry designer, y'all. And when I say starving artist, I mean for real, starving artist artist y'all i'm not making much money y'all help a sister out help a sister out buy from me help me out please all right peace i look a little crusty <laughs> all right peace and blessings shalom thank you for watching my video oh and stay tuned for more videos um I'm going to show how to make this. This is very simple. And to be honest, it is somewhat like the bangle. Just basically the same method. Um, 
just hammering the ends. Um, I'm not going to hammer it flat though. But um, I'm going to make this in another video very shortly. I can't do it right now. I got to go feed my baby. But anywho, just want to put it on for y'all. This is something I made like maybe a month ago. One thing I do is just make stuff, y'all. And I don't, I don't um, picture it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so beautiful. It's a cuff. I didn't name it yet. I don't know what to name it. Should it be coil cuff? Coils? Or should it be spiral cuff? The spirals. I don't know. I'm not good with names, y'all. I'm not good with naming my stuff. So, um, please help a sister out. Let me know what I should name this. Okay? Leave a comment, please. Show me some love. And, yeah, you made it to... It's 32 minutes. Oh, my God. I've been sitting here for 32 minutes. Y'all, I love you. Peace.